Good evening, everyone. I'm Jameson Euler. And I'm Lauren St. Germain. Wendy has the night off. First to an update at 5 about a major reversal. The Pinellas County Sheriff is retracting his no-bond policy for protesters arrested on nonviolent misdemeanors. You'll remember ABC Action News was first to report earlier this week that the Sheriff's Office was holding protesters on no bond. ABC Action News reporter McKenna King tells us what prompted the change and why it's concerning for protesters. We now, unfortunately, have a big problem at the jail. Sheriff Galtier re-announcing in Thursday's Pinellas Board of County Commissioners meeting, the county jail is dealing with a COVID-19 outbreak. We probably got close to uh, 20 people between inmates and staff that have tested positive out there. Shortly after that, the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office announcing a retraction of the no-bond policy for nonviolent misdemeanors like unlawful assembly. Something the sheriff's office charged dozens of protesters with last week following peaceful protests. It shouldn't take a pandemic for sheriffs to realize they shouldn't be arresting people anyways for misdemeanors. Kelsey Jagno is one of them. It was a peaceful event and it was um, a lawful you know, expression of our First Amendment rights. But the protest took a turn when other people started lighting fireworks. That's when Kelsey knew it was time to leave. My car is right here. Keep going. I had my hands raised. I, I wanted them to know that I, I didn't have anything on me. Now she's fighting charges she says she doesn't deserve, and crossing her fingers her overnight stay doesn't impact her health. We were given very minimal, like, hand sanitizing, anything to be able to wash our hands. Um, you know, it, it just didn't seem like a concern to them at all. Like there was no pandemic happening around the area. Kelsey and her attorney say all they want from the sheriff is an apology. In Clearwater, McKenna King, ABC Action News.